Hey guys, it's Jazzy Ray here, and I am back for another video. No edits because I, I have to hurry up and get to class soon. But um, I just wanted to talk about this because I want to talk about Danny Lay and just keep talking about this colorism thing because I really think like niggas just don't understand. They think it's imaginary. They think it's not real. There's no such thing as light skin privilege. And I'm just like, are you in La La Land? Like, I don't understand. So I'm not going to like tarry too long on Danny Lay because... What she did, of course, she apologized, but it wasn't a real apology, you know what I mean? And I'm not shocked. I'm just, I'm appalled, but not shocked. Well, I guess appalled is the same thing. But I'm not going to be shocked because basically she came out and she was just like, I'm not colorist. How can I be colorist? Um, I'm dating a chocolate man. The same typical response that people would say. You know, when they're called out for being colorist. Um, I'm not I'm not racist. I consider myself yellow bone, but you're not black. You're not black. That's why people were mad at you, Danny. You're not even black. And even if you were black, it's still problematic. And then you dread when you got called because we all know like you wrote the song because the, the whatever that shit was you only put it out to send a message to Mimi who is darker than you so we already know that that's the case and then you try to drag it and be like well I'm just I just want to send an anthem to my light skin my, my yellow bone baddies for one you're not yellow bone and two that's not an anthem that's pretty much like you could have said something like Danny Linus what he want Bitch, he ain't with you. Bitch, I won. Like, you could have said that shit, and that would have been less problematic. It would have been like, okay, she being petty, but okay. You know what I mean? Like, girl, I ain't got time for you. Like I said, I can't really cancel her. I personally can't cancel her because I never put her on, so it, it, it doesn't really matter. And to the people who are like, oh, well, there's nothing wrong with what she said. There's nothing wrong with the song. Anyway, I'm not even going to entertain y'all. But I do want to talk about this Rick Ross thing and just the fact that y'all niggas is really like colorism is not a thing it's not a thing it's made it's make believe it's all in your head first of all if y'all haven't seen the Rick Ross video basically I didn't even know this nigga had a reality show when did this nigga have a reality show when I don't remember that Sorry, Rick Ross is not in my soundtrack either. So, again, I can't really cancel him because he's never, I never put him on in my life. So, whatever. But basically, they was picking singers. It was like a competition. And they was picking singers. And you had a light-skinned singer and a dark-skinned singer, right? The light-skinned singer, I don't know what the fuck she was doing. I think she, it sounded like she was taking the shit. And she was like screaming or not even screaming, but she was just like, uh, while taking the shit. You know what I mean? And then the dark-skinned girl, she killed it. But... Who do you think who do you think they went with? Who do you think they went with? I mean, you, if you watch the video, you can obviously tell that the light skinned girl just could not sing. Cause when I was watching, I'm like, what the hell is this? You know what I mean? It was just so obvious. You know, they literally told the dark the light skinned girl, Oh, your your future is bright. And then with the dark skinned girl, oh well, I feel like you could work on your vocals a little bit more. This ain't for you. And y'all want to tell me that shit ain't real. Let me tell you something. Let me give y'all an example. Because my thing is, in Hollywood, that shit is like so real. That's why I can't wait until I get into the industry because I'm going to change that shit. I'm going to change it. Let's say you got, let's say they about to do this comedy movie, right? And you got me and Summerella. I love Summerella. But let's say you got me and Summer, right? Now, they might like me because I actually think I'm pretty funny sometimes. I actually think Cimarella is way funnier than me. Let's say you got two roles. You got the, the typical, sensible, you funny, but sensible, good girl role. And then you got the ratchet, loud, always fighting, funny girl, right? Now, Cimarella may do better than me, and she 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 should get the lead role, right? But she's the romantic interest, because usually the sensible girl is the romantic interest, right? She's usually the one that the main guy falls in love with, right? And usually the ratchet girl is the one that the main guy may tear down, okay? You would think she would get that role, right? And I'll probably get the ghetto girl girl role. No. 
they're gonna give that role to me. They're gonna give that role to me. Let's just be real. And then they're gonna give the the angry, loud black girl. They're gonna give that to Summer. The the Pam, the Pam and Gina effect. Okay. And don't get me wrong, I love Martin to death. I love that show. But we can't sit there and ignore that there was some colorism in that damn show. Okay, we can't we can't sit there because Gina was the was the one that was always whiny and submissive and just the sensible one, the voice of reason, the one that Martin liked, right? And then you got Pam, angry, loud rude always talking shit about martin angry angry and truth be told at least when it comes to me i'm more like pam I, i'm not gina i don't like whiny bitches like i'm more like pam i'm gonna tell you what it is whether you like it or not that's why when kodak black was like oh well dark skinned women are too tough they too tough i like light skins because they more they more sensitive you can break them down you can break them down Notice he said with light-skinned women, you can break them down. I don't know what light-skinned woman he dating. Because that's why I say I must be dark then. I, I must have that dark skin mentality then, if that's the case. Because you ain't breaking me down unless I let you break me down. And that's just facts, okay? So, I just want to bring that up too. That in, so, in, 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 in show business, that's a prevalent thing. It's not that dark-skinned women. And, and shout out to... Megan Milan, I think that's her name on Instagram. She's like an Instagram model. I don't know if she does YouTube videos. But she basically posted, like, we need more dark-skinned women representation. I agree with that. Not only do we not, don't, not only do we need more dark-skinned representation, because I feel like we do get it, but we get it the negative stereotype. You know what I mean? You The, the, the dark-skinned dark girl always plays the ghetto girl. Or she always plays the friend, right? I mean, even Ryan Destiny didn't even play the lead role in Star. You know what I mean? So... We do need more leading dark skinned women in the industry, not the side the side piece or the the, the the supporting role. And usually, the dark skinned woman is the side piece if there's if it's a romantic story. You know what I mean? So, I definitely agree with that. Plus, a lot of these light skinned women in the industry are mediocre at best. Let's just, let's just keep it real, okay? Um, I also want to talk about. I want to bring up Beyonce because I feel like Beyonce, that's like, she had a lot of factors going for her. It's the reason why she's on the top right now. Like, for one, I don't really consider Beyonce light-skinned, but people do. She's definitely not dark. So that, that I, I have to agree with that. Um, that. That kind of works to her advantage. Two, Beyonce... Beyonce had connections into the industry. Her dad, like her dad literally like would sell his own soul and probably did sell his soul to get Beyonce to where she needs to be. And then when Beyonce got where she needed to be and then he was cheating on Tina and all that, Beyonce was like, okay, thank you for giving me where I need to be, but your, your service is no longer, be, no, no longer needed. So Beyonce had connections, plus Jay-Z, you know, the connection with Jay-Z, you know. And she got vocals. It, it used to be a time like, if I didn't see, like, when she was in Destiny's Child, if I didn't see the video, a lot of the times, I didn't know who was singing. Was it Kelly or Beyonce? Because they sound so much alike. But colorism kind of does play a part in that. Kind of. But at the same time, Beyonce's dad was... He really he really wanted to cloud chase off of Beyonce. We just gonna call it what it is. <laughs> I don't know how the B.I. feels about Beyonce's daddy, Matthew, but we gonna call it what it is, okay? Um... But I do want to talk about that because I just remember Tinashe. Like, you take Danny Lay and Tinashe. Like, Tinashe actually can sing. But what I didn't like about Tinashe is that she tried... I don't think Tinashe is colorist, but she said some ignorant shit back in the day. Like, she said she felt like black people didn't support her because she was biracial. And it's like, no, sis, that's like the other way around. Like... No, like you will be the first person black people try to claim as black. You know what I mean? So it's like, no, sis, you got that all the way backwards. You can't really blame black people for not supporting your music. You have to blame your management for not promoting you the way that they should. So she left a bad taste in my mouth with that. But I do love her music, but it's like, that's like, girl, no, you, you are Aquarius, honey. So you, you probably just had an airhead moment. Like most Aquariuses and Gemini's and Libras do. So, by the way, if y'all want a birth chart reading, just let me know. If y'all want some, some astrology readings, let me know. Or just astrology videos, let me know. But, no. No, sis. 
that, that that's all the way backwards. <laughs> that's all the way goddamn backwards. No, but you do have some light skinned women who are mediocre and who should not be big right now. They really should not be. Like I feel like Asian Doll is definitely a better rapper than Sweetie. I think Sweetie. I'm not, I'm not a hater. I'm not saying I don't like Sweetie's music because I do, but that pretty girl thing is working for her. That's why she's at the top right now. Um, as far as like Cardi B, I think her music is it's a hit or miss. It's like she may put out a song that's good, but I feel like Cardi B put out the same stuff over and over and over and over and over and over. It's just that WAP. I feel like WAP was good because it's just like when Megan was on it, you know, Megan kind of ate her up. <laughs> And to y'all act, but the thing with why I didn't understand is y'all act like Cardi B never put out music like that before. That, that's why I didn't understand the outrage, you know. But whatever, people gonna be people. Either you like the song or you don't. But I feel like in the industry, it's so many people who are lighter skinned who should not be at the top because they just don't have it. And you got some dark skinned people who have been affected by colorism who have been told you are too dark and stuff like look at Amara and the Negra. she could she should be where Cardi B is for real for real you know but she's not let's just keep it all the way real and as far as the people who really are not seeing my point like I had light-skinned people come at me talking about I wasn't offended by the song and Danny Lay and She's a she's twenty five percent black, so she's black, and uh, I didn't experience that. I didn't go around picking on dark skinned women. Dark skinned women picked on me, and it's like, sis, I understand. I'm sorry that you went through that, okay? But I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the system. Just because it didn't happen to you, and just because you didn't go around. Being colorist towards somebody and, and and really shaming somebody because of this, they dark skin. That doesn't mean it's not happening. Just because it's not happening to you, you Lil Wayne ass niggas and bitches. Like Lil Wayne, just because racism, you didn't experience racism, doesn't mean it's not happening. Like what? Like I just didn't. I I didn't have the energy to go back and forth. If you really did not understand what I was saying, either thank you for giving me the view. Thank you for liking or disliking and just hop your ass off my video because I don't really care. My thing is I didn't experience colorism either. If if if, if people didn't like me, I didn't assume it's because of this. I might, maybe they just think I'm ugly or maybe they think I'm weird or maybe I'm too quiet or maybe I'm this, maybe I'm that. Maybe they just a negative person in general and they hate everyone. It don't matter what your skin tone is. It don't even matter what your race is. You just, they just hate people. But... For y'all to really be on my channel and talking about some, well, I never experienced that. It's mainly dark-skinned women who do it. And my thing is, that's just as bad because I feel like dark-skinned women, we sh y'all shouldn't be doing that either. But at the same time, that's not for me to speak on. I'm checking light-skinned people when they do it because I happen to be lighter, okay? That's something for a dark-skinned woman to talk about. Like, Lovely T did it. She did it in one of her videos. She checked dark-skinned women for being, you know, colorist. And again... Who benefits from colorism? Because it's they, it's not dark skinned women. They don't benefit from it. Light skinned women do. Whether 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 you like it or not, they benefit from it. There is a privilege there. Okay, you have guys who literally think that you pretty because you're light skinned. That's pretty much my whole point in that video. Light skinned women are used as trophies. Now you got some dark skinned men and you got some light skins and you got other people who just happen to just talk to a girl and they just happen to be light skinned and they just they vibe and they don't really give a shit about the like the, the, the tone you know what i mean you got some dark skinned men and some light skinned men who 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 fuck with dark skinned women and it ain't got nothing to do with them being dark it's just that they like they like the girl like they like the person but you got some people most people who are so color struck that they're willing to take the take their trophy and I'm not going to lie, I feel like dark-skinned women need to be careful too because you may have some black men who only date black dark-skinned women to fit the, you know, so they won't be classified as colorists when color is exactly what they see. It's no different than a, a white person who uses, you know, black people as fetishes and then, or they don't want to seem like the racist. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. 
So dark skinned women, please be careful of that because you may have you may have some black men who will only date you because that's like the, the hip thing to do right now. And it's not sincere. It's my point. I just want to just put that out there because 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 and I I'm, I'm only saying that because sometimes you you gotta look at a person's track record, <laughs> you know, and it's no different than these colorists dating light skinned women as trophies. Ba basically, just be careful because niggas will use you as trophies. If you a pretty girl, be careful of that because like, a nigga may, can only date you, may only date you because of how you look. It's pretty much my whole point. But I just want to put that out there. But that's, see, that's not something for me to speak on, for real, for real. That's something that dark-skinned women need to notice and speak on. So when it comes to dark-skinned women being colorist, yes, I, I'm aware that that's happening. But that's not for me to speak on. That's for that's for Chrissy to speak on. Or that's for I Am Aloha to speak on. Or Lovely T. Because they are dark-skinned. And that's something that they have to have. You know, they have to talk to them about. Now, I feel like one day, I feel like we should have like a platform where light skins and dark skins come together and kind of just talk about colorism. But in order to do that, we have to first realize the issues within ourselves. Because it's a shame that we even have to have this conversation. Because if we all black, then we all need to stand for it in all goddamn shades, like New York said, okay? So I just want to put that out there. Um, that's it. I said what I said. Um, make sure you subscribe and comment. I gotta hurry up and get to class because it's time. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys.